Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Montreal Canadiens franchise series here on NHL 21. We had a pretty strong season last time. Uh, last season, I should say, uh, after signing Patty Kane and trading for veterans such as David Krejci to help us on our fourth line, we made it into the playoffs as a second seed in our division, and we're going to be facing off against the Florida Panthers. You guys can see here our lines. We're looking pretty good, I think. Probably the most depth I've had in on any team. Uh, a bunch of pluses, you know, and uh, a couple 84s on the bottom pair. So that's pretty good. And the goalie that's going to be playing is going to be Carey Price. Even though he's gone down to an 85 after killing it uh, this season. I don't know why he's gone down to an 85, but it doesn't matter. Uh, he's going to be your starter. And quickly, I will show you the Florida Panthers lines. So you guys can have a quick look here. Whereas Florida, they have a filthy first line in Huberto, Barkov, and Denisenko. Then after that, it drops off a little bit. Borgstrom, Lindblom, and Tippett. And you guys can see the rest of the players. Now, after Ekblad, our worst defenseman is better than Will Butcher. Butcher you know what I mean? Our worst defensemen are both 84. So after Ekblad, they don't have a lot of depth. And then in net, they're going to go with Bobrovsky most likely, who is an 84, Thomas Grice. So I think I like her chances with against this team here, guys. But we never know until we actually start playing the game. So first game is going to be at the Bell Center, obviously, guys. Let me make sure Carey Price is in net. If he starts to struggle, I'm not going to shy away from... Uh, from you know making any changes so price is going to be in that here let me just uh yeah do the in-game simulation here against the florida panthers we got to be careful though they have a good top six so we got to play well defensively here first period one nothing down denisenko scores on the power play 11 to 5 the shots for them come on boys second period three one Denisenko and Lindblom score for them. Jonathan Duran scores for us. We're going to go eight-time simulation. Are we going to drop the first game in Montreal? Brendan Gallagher scores, though. He answers back. But Lindblom scores on a power play right after. We're two goals behind here. Come on, boys. 5-2. Okay. So our PK has not delivered, it sounds like. 5-3. Come on, boys! Ten minutes to go. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a long five minutes for us. Hopefully, five four. Okay, another power play. Can we tie it up here with five minutes to go? We still have a long time. Come on, boys! We're gonna pull the goalie. Bobrovsky's not the best goalie here. And we gave them a power play. Are you kidding me? We're gonna lose five four. Okay. So not what I wanted to see at all. You guys can see the top three stars. Then the first line basically killed us. And Lindblom on the second line. But not the showing we wanted to see. So Carey Price is going to be out. And I might have to be the Spencer Knight show. I'm going to move Kane over there now in his natural right wing position. Carey Price, obviously he's gone down to an 85. I don't know exactly why. If he had a very good season. But he just didn't he didn't play well. So let's simulate up to that day now. And uh, we're going to give the next game to Spencer Knight. Let me make sure that Knight is going to be in net. Sorry about that. I always have to remember to actually uh, make the change after I've simulated. So Knight is going to be in net, like I said. He's 87 against Bobrovsky. He's an 84. We should be able to score some goals on Bobrovsky. And play better defensively, guys. Game two, it's do or die pretty much. First period, 1 1. Okay, Jonathan Duran scores for us, but Agblad scores for them. 15 to 8 the shot, so we've played much better. Come on, boys. Second period, 5 2. Okay, definitely have come out to play here. 22 to 20 the shots. We're going to do a time simulation. Holloway scores for us, so Grice is in net now. 6 to 2. Perfect. So I don't know why it's taking so long. Okay, so seven to two now. Matt Dumba scores. Uh, eight to two now. Suzuki. Okay. All right. 
right, so six minutes to go. Are we going to be able to hold on here? And we are. 33 to 30, the shots. Spencer Knight only allowed one goal, and you guys see our offense just completely stepped up, which is what I was expecting. You know, and we I was expect, expecting us to play way better defensively. So we definitely have done that now. AHL season is complete. And uh, yeah, we're going to be playing now against, or in Florida, I should say, against the Panthers, obviously. Best out of seven series here. First period, 2 nothing down. Okay, so Denisenko and Silverberg score for them. Second period, 4 nothing. Okay. Are we going to be able to come back here? Four-time simulation. Okay. Shane Rice scores for us. Come on, boys. It's 15 minutes to go still. We get a power play. Can we score here? Come on, come on, come on. We, we are unable to score. Bobrovsky is going to shut the door? What's going on here? Four two. Brandon Gallagher scores, but we're just not able to, you know, bounce back here. So, all right, guys. So, like I said, we're gonna keep Spencer Knight because he gave us a win, and obviously we're down for nothing. But I'm gonna give him another shot. Hopefully, he can uh, deliver here. We're giving him a vote of confidence, so he better pretty much. First period, two nothing for us. Okay, Kane and Dry. Ten to four, 14 to ten. The shots for them. 3-0, perfect. Can we hold on here? Come on, Knight. Hold on. 15 minutes to go, boys. Come on, just hold on tight. Don't allow any more goals. 4-0, Patty Kane scores again. Incredible performance by him. In the playoffs, like always. He's always just a stud in the playoffs. And another stud that's playing godlike. I was going to say Spencer Knight, but he allows a goal, so never mind. He allows two goals there. Come on, boys. Hang on to it. Four minutes to go. Come on. A minute and a half. And we win 4-2. Okay, perfect. So Spencer Knight had a decent game, though. So I'm glad I didn't change him. I didn't substitute him. He was the second star. Patty Kane, obviously, the first star with two goals there. So really, really good here. We're 2-2 so far. In the best of seven, we we gained home ice advantage back by winning one game in Florida. And now we have the next two out of three are going to be in the Bell Center. Hopefully we can end it as soon as possible here. We're going to go back with Spencer Knight, like I said. But this is a very well-played series. So first period, 2-1 down. Huberdeau on Tippett, score for them. David Krejci scores for us. Come on, boys, second period. We're down 3-1. What's going on here? Our offense doesn't seem to show up. And Spencer Knight allows four goals. What's going on? Come on, boys. Okay, Shane Wright scores. Come on, 4-2. Ten minutes to go. Can we get a comeback? Do we have a comeback in us? 5-4. Five, 5-4 four. Five four power play, I should say. But Cole Caulfield scores with six minutes to go. Come on, boys. One more goal and we tie it up. Don't allow anything. 2.30 to go. Come on, come on, come on. 1.30, 36 seconds. Are we going to be able to score? And we don't. Wow. Okay. So now we have we can no longer lose. We have to win both games. And I think what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to surprise you. Just give me a second here. Give me a second here. All right, guys. So I'm going to give Carey Price a starting job for game six and hopefully game seven. Made a couple little line changes. Caulfield, Patty Kane, and Shane Wright. They're both on their off shooting uh, wings so hopefully they can uh they just shoot from everywhere now we have kakaniemi suzuki and dran dano gallagher and and the other lines as well so we're putting all of our eggs in one basket we need patty kane to get going for sure and cole caulfield as well so although kane has six points uh we definitely need him to get going we're gonna give carry price to start like i said so uh just give me a second i'm gonna just gonna make sure that price is in that all right, guys. So, yeah, like I said, price is in net now. It's do or die. Uh, if we don't perform, then it's going to be the end of the season. But I'm not looking to be going out into the out of the playoffs in the first round, first period. 3-0. Okay, nothing from the first line, but I like the 3-0 lead. 
Okay, Price is just absolutely killing it. And he does amazing. 4 1. Let's see the three stars really quickly here. 28 save percentage. A 28 save performance, sorry, by Carey Price. Incredible. Next game will be against the Florida Panthers. Uh, sorry, and, and Montreal, sorry, against the Florida Panthers, obviously. Game seven. The best. Uh, the best words in hockey, guys. So let me just. Uh, make sure prices in that, and I'll bring you guys back. So give me a second here. Give me a second here. All right, guys. So uh, prices in that. This is game seven, guys. Do or die. Are we gonna be able to come back after being down three to two and beat the Florida Panthers first period? Zero zero nine to eight. The shots. Very defensive game. Come on, boys. We need a big second here. Zero zero again. We're going to do eight time simulation. Come on, guys. We got a power play. Come on, come on, come on. Nothing to show for, unfortunately. 26 is 18 the shots. I don't know how Bobrovsky is doing so good against us. Come on, boys. Cole Caulfield scores on Bobrovsky. 28 to 20 the shots. 10 minutes to go. Dano scores on Bobrovsky. Are you kidding me? 2 0. We have the two goal lead now in the third. Carey Price is stepping up to the plate. Five minutes to go. Are we going to win and get into the second round? Kakanyemi scores 3 0. It looks like we will, guys. And Carey Price gets another game seven shutout. It must be at least his second or third in his career. 24 save shutout. Incredible performance by the Montreal Canadiens. I made a couple little line changes and brought back Price, and we were able to win the cup here. Let's see who we're going to be facing off in round two. And it's going to be your dreaded rivals, the Toronto Maple Leafs, guys. So just before I end it off, let me just have a quick look at their lines. Let's see. Zach Hyman, Matthews, Marner is a top line. Tavares, who is getting up there in age with Nylander and Fogel, is a second line. Dalcon, Schlappick, Smith. Ferk, Koivu, Yamark. So I definitely think they might have us on the top six. Maybe it's even. They definitely have their better impact players for sure. But our, four, our third and fourth line are way better on our team. They have Lilia Grant, who's gone up to an 89, the most overrated player in the league here in the NHL. There's no way this guy should be a medium elite, I think. If, if there should be one, it might be Sandin, if, if that. I think he should be at the high top, yeah, high top four, just like Sandin. But it's going to be Lilligren and Muzzin, Sandin, Dermott, Car Carson Soucy, and TJ Brody, okay? And then the net, Stuart Skinner and Frank Kuz. Let's see who is scratched. Amirov, Robertson, and Schnarr, okay? So I think we might have them beat as far as depth as well, but... Maybe their stars might make the difference, guys. I don't know. We're going to have to see. If you guys are excited for the next episode, leave the video a like, guys, because that helps out a lot. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't done so, if you're watching without subscribing. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Leave some suggestions if you have any in the comments below. And I will see you in the